What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. And in this episode the Russians have declared war on us again, so the force of Hector Norton has sallied from Vilnius to intercept this Russian army trying to push the north side of this river. So let us kill them all, and we're going to end up, um, hopefully, pushing them back towards Moscow. Now the force of St. Petersburg is likely to have to march eventually to take Petrovskaya and potentially build the new... I mean, I've <laughs> so I've just finished record recording some of the Spanish episodes, and uh, I've I've closed Chrome, so maybe my something is just being a bit slow and rubbish um, on my computer. But I'm hoping that the garrison at, uh, like I said, at St. Petersburg can march and hit Petrovskaya, um, and we can start to pretty much destroy the Russians because they declared war on us again. We weren't doing anything. We weren't pre preparing for war against them. We weren't gathering our strength. So number the guns. Carcass shots, not a terrible substitute for not a terrible substitute for quick line. So as is tradition, draw out a massive line as far as I can go. Hello, what's this? So, you hit the good ideas, you hit the Cossacks, 40, no, 20 odd line infantrymen died, so I'm going to speed up time because fundamentally a lot of our guys have plenty of distance to cover, but it's looking quite tasty, I think we're going to end up getting quite a nice surrounding surround going on here, or flanking. Oh. The Cossack cavalry are going to march, charging to their doom. Yeah, all of the gunfire just erupts along the line. So these guys are all gonna Run! It's annoying where you got these sound thingies again. I mean, are you guys just gonna. Well, let's get you guys to attack the general. Yeah, that cavalry unit is, is down for the count. They're standing there under the fire from one, two, three, four. Four units. So those guys attack. Hello, you've spotted my slated infantry and you think you've got a tasty little morsel, don't you? Oh, okay, you're actually going to shoot. Militia, brave militia. They've actually hit the line where my grenadiers are. General's getting shot in the rear by the 74th, 73rd are hunkering down. Probably won't kill the uh, kill the general. You men form up and pour fire into the horse grenadier guards. Our men that are on the flank are still on the way. Again, our lack of cavalry is going to result in a lot of them getting away. Stay, keep staying square. Something like that. Under a shotgun, as they're not going to like getting shot at. Especially when the 54th realizes what's happening and actually begins to use their muskets. Yeah, there we go.
Just keep moving up. Okay, so let's pivot. Move you guys up like so. So I can take these guys and go like this. Streltsy militia be damned. Charge away, my good fellow. So you guys both charge them. So that means that you guys can continue... Continue the advance and not leave too much of a gap. They are going to get shot at by the Cossacks, but it's worth it to slice down so many delicious militia. You men form up there. It's a very inefficient way to lay them out, but eh. Okay, let, leave the horse. I'll let, or leave my men here to pour fire into the horse artillery to try and take them out. Fundamentally. The end is near for our comrades that comrades under the hammer and sickle. Well, soon to be under the hammer and sickle at least. Yeah, there we go. Not that it matters. Oh, hello. Chaps with bows and arrows. Oh, there they go. They didn't even get a shot at, and that was enough. Good. So that's pushed that enemy probing force back towards Moscow. I don't know why. I really don't know why there's this little delay between uh, the end of a battle. But there we go, we lost nearly 400, they lost nearly 2,000. Back you go. Forward! March! So you men replenish what you can. Good, they still might try something from the south, but you guys are going to be in a good position to pretty much carry on. And literally push towards Moscow. You can push towards them, maybe. But the main concern, well not main concern, a concern is obviously here. So you're ready. The force in London yeah. is ready in a turn once we get Union of Marines. Then they will both land at Lisbon. Let's watch these men wander away. Because I don't think I can... No, I can't cross over because these guys are interfering. But neither can they. So it will be important or necessary to take these guys away to block Sandy Bay for us to cross over. That's not a problem for now. Our technology's good. These guys are good. We're doing what they can. Ah, uh, yes. You're here at Curacao. So let us attack the pirates at Punda. Let's add another another Caribbean island to our holdings. Okay, it is mighty odd. Mighty odd. Um, but yes, things are going. Things are going pretty well. Feeling pretty stable and feeling pretty safe at the moment. But that's usually when the game decides, haha, you're feeling a bit happy with yourself, aren't you? But then you get a surprise invasion somewhere you didn't plan. I mean, uh, artillery up here. Got our Scots and our elite infantry up front. Two raiding packs of infantry whose job it is to storm up either flank, including through the town. Let's 
storm at away from the guns because they're right behind you. So we are likely to get some friendly fire from the guns. Yeah, there we go. Boom. So the 74th. Oh no, they got mortared, sorry. Some of our guys did get shot in the back. Everyone just run, push up. So we'll storm up, get as close as we can to their artillery. Where we can use our massed volleys to destroy them because this is all they got. Lobbing those shells are very weak powder charges. Firelock armed citizenry are not going to take things very well, neither is this unit when my marines start to uh, open up. They're still marching! Hasn't those marines right there? Yeah, wavering under one volley. These foot guards aren't even shooting. Is someone straggler here? Yeah. Firelock Armed Citizenry is not long for this world. So just advance. There goes the mortars. The artillery is done for. There they go. They've more or less entirely collapsed. Got our guns to focus on that unit. That's a really quick back a really quick battle. But what do you expect? It's a pirate garrison against a a very very elite army at this stage. You think they're four. Experience 4, most of them my actual decent troops experience 4, the bulk of them are all experience 3, except for the odd experience 2 units. Well, artillery is doing pretty well. The flag. We can't do anything about it. That's that taken, then we can move on to Santo Domingo. These forces here at Cuba, you need to replenish to go hit Nassau. Okay, let's hit end turn, I think, because we can't really do much else. Yeah, got a couple of new Spaniard forces to the north. Yeah, attacking Spain's not going to be easy. They've got a lot of resources by owning Paris and Madrid. The, Ottoman, the Ottomans are pushing against Russia, which is good for us. You can raid my port if you like, that's fine. Because they're going to attempt to run around. There's a Russian force that's attempting to flank to the south near Vilnius. Sweden's attacking Prussia. I believe that's Prussian territory. 13 colonies again is being my bro. Keeping our ports clear. Oh, it's Hanover they're attacking. And they've won. Oh, they didn't win the second time. Yeah, you have to land with sufficient force to withstand the first blow. So that usually means two armies. One to get hit first, and then one to get hit the second time when the first one's replenishing. Don't worry, once our marines are done, we can land troops in Porto and see how that changes the Spanish dispositions near... Gibraltar, if it doesn't change them, we push on to Lisbon. Yeah, you can raid as much as you like, pirates. Um, chiefly because we're going to kill you. Oh, so you... They're trying to run around you, so just fight them and take them out. Hector Norton. So you replenish and begin to put Moscow under risk. We'll just push towards Moscow. You guys might come up from the south. So let's move these three units up to Vilnius. You're going to provide them with some artillery support. You guys hold for now. 
they can't make good progress through the woods. So we've got a turn at least. Oh, new territories built. Good stuff. Economy upgrades. Ahoy. Another town in Upper Louisiana. Good stuff. Cuba, Cuba, Cuba. You men continue to replenish. Don't get too mad spending money because I've got to spend money in a few places. As usual, we've got so much more money than we have. There are so many more things to spend money on than we have capacity to uh, to earn for the moment. So let's get the gem pits opened up. Let's get the clearances opened up so the crackers can start to build more ports. Oh, so much stuff to build. Barbados is blockaded, which again is funny because it's, it's our port, but... It's the French port, really. And again, you guys... Request... Do you have Northumberland Fusiliers making their way to you? I don't think so. Because it takes so long. They'll take so long to get here, but I think I might... I'm really not in a rush to attack the Pueblo Nations yet, because they're not going to get much stronger than that. Okay, we've got marines in England. So, oh, the one thing I've not built is damn transports. Because you're blockading Spain there, which is a noble, noble work. Could use my home fleet. But I think I want to use this fourth rate, because you can then join the fleet. So you pick up. Then sail to we can't sail to Porto because there's no we can't actually land in Porto, but we can land. I don't want to land near Lisbon because that might make them too easily pinned. So if I land, oh, I didn't even pick them up. It's the wrong ship. Okay, right, 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 right. right. Okay, I remember. I'm such a dumb idiot. So you men land your army. This fourth rate can join Wilbur Stonehouse. And then we've got down here, we do have ships. So let's take third rate ship of the line. Take pick up Osbert and let's also deploy them off of the coast and this third rate can hmm, will it trigger a battle i don't think it will i might just boost this army this navy because they're going to they're going to come south and attack here anyway your humble servant okay i think that's pretty good i want to see where they go because we will march south towards lisbon if they if they don't move respond to attack us. That's where we'll go to hopefully draw some of these forces away. That would be a good... Ooh, Hector Norton Galloper. Yes, my lord. Plus one to command in land battles. Sweet. So these guys could be... might have to be fought next turn, but that's why we've got these guys replenishing. So let's hit end turn. Their only real target could be Vilnius, but they can't get to Vilnius in one turn, so... Good. Oh, okay, they've not really not... Um... Okay, at least the Prussians didn't win, but they'll have, they have attrited that army. At least. The Ottomans are going to take Kiev. So the Russian corpse is well and truly being divvied up at this point. Crimean cut... Oh! What happened there? They were the oh, they were the Republic of. They were a Republic anyway. Okay, the game's chewing on this. So they were a Republic. They got rebelled against. Now the game, I think, is freaked out. 
No. Phew. <laughs> okay. Well, no, no. Okay, that was the chrome. Okay, I think that was the chrome incarnate. Okay, yeah, there we go. They're still coming for us, even though they got... Well, they, they won against the Prussians. It looks like my armies in north and Spain are going to march south to Lisbon. Because none of the none of Spain's troops have deployed from or redeployed from Gibraltar to face the threat. Silly pirates. Coming to get you. So Plymouth's been blockaded, that's fine. Let's upgrade this weaver's cottage. Port blockaded, port blockaded, construction. Okay, let's get a sloop to occupy here. Let's upgrade this, let's upgrade the iron workshop, upgrade. This commercial port to commercial basin, very scattergun, just because we've got so much money to spend everywhere. I don't think an overall strategy is going to make too much of a difference at this point. So you're now replenished. So let's get another ship ready to march you towards Santo Domingo. Your infrastructure is pretty good. Let's upgrade the export plantation. Let's upgrade the, plant, upgrade the plantation and then the port. But let's hop back to Europe because... Now we've got some expensive ass upgrades for Britain, which is great because London is on fire. Again, yes, there's still four stacks. Well, three and a three and a half, roughly. In which case, then you guys. I mean, will they? Will can we just demand the surrender? Because they only had one unit. It's not a garrison unit. So, okay, they've, they've refused the surrender. So we're we are going to fight that. But we're also well, we're going to fight that next turn. I think I might use this. Minsk army to chase away well I might do a, do, do a bit of a switcheroo no. make sure you're up and ready make sure you're pushing Moscow because we know that they, the Ottomans are coming so let's send you guys south to go hit Venian Nikolin oh that's very much a depleted army okay what to resolve that Get you guys repairing, replenishing. They could jump for Minsk, so let's put some troops into Minsk, which would then, yeah, there we go. So this army would then come in as a reinforcing army. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ingria's got some marines, so you're going to march east and hit those guys at some point. But firstly, we're going to go and we're going to have to assault it. Well, I might, to be honest, I might just auto resolve it because that's not a a good battle. God, we lost a bunch of troops because of it. Destroy the college. Repair this. Repair this. Upgrade the coaching in. But yeah, that was not. That wouldn't have been a a good battle to fight. That would have been slow and just a waste of time. Ready for. So let's see how they react now. Let's get you into Porto. Agent executed. Ah, oh, they found him in Breslau. No, they know I'm spying on them. Matthew Flood in Moscow is still good. John Edwards in Iassi is still good. Pathlock, Hector Norton, not anymore. So he's on his way to, to Moscow. The Northumberland Fusiliers on their way to the south. Yeah, the French have squashed the Dutch rebels again. Now are you going to redeploy it? No, they're not. Still. Oh my god. I mean, there's a lot of Ottoman troops. I don't like how they're crossing into my land. Hmm. 
I do not like how they cross my borders. Because we aren't at war. Well, I just want Moscow. If I get Moscow and Petrovskaya, I can pin the Swedes in and not have to worry about them. Yeah, the border's not red, so we're not at war. Unless we're about to be at war during their turn. No. Yeah, the Russians are pushed towards Minsk, but they don't want to get too close. 13 colonies being bros. Barbary states are going to be Barbary states. Might have to just attack. Attack Gibraltar. Which ultimately, that's probably going to be what we have to do. So Demerara has been blockaded. Let's take a sloop. The Adams out to Panama. Can we leave Panama? Yes! Let's just upgrade the government chambers as a bit of a reward. Nuts. I'm wanting to get my rake over there, but let's send them to attack Santo Domingo. Okay, just not a real army. Let's repair the state house. Let's fix the garrison. See, I'm, I'm not overly bothered about fighting battles that are so one-sided, unless they're important, because... You know, this is a world domination. We're going to we're going to be fighting loads of battles in the, in the near future. So, I'm not overly concerned about any one particular water resolve battle. Kids, okay, great. One of you to a global trading company. We've got Lisbon under control. So, Willie and Pepperell, you can also replenish and push to the north. I mean, if this is how they feel. Then we're just gonna push, I guess. Oh, so many cool units. Let's just get some regular line to act as a garrison. Because they're, they're, they're not moving. They really don't want to leave Gibraltar. Your Majesty. Well, in which case, then you are going to push east and threaten Madrid, because why the hell not? The town emerges in Michigan, which I can't upgrade because I've spent all my money, and lots of really good buildings that could be upgraded. I cannot. Let's hit end turn. Uh, nope. Hmm. Ah, run away. Flee little sloop. It'd be interesting to see if they chase a sloop all the way into the into the Atlantic, which it looks like they are. Oh no, they're not, they're checking my other sloop. Flee! Nice one, France. You've used your navy to chase away two sloops. Which one are you going to kill? No, oh, they're just headed over. Okay, they, they consider that a win. Okay, the Prussians are moving in, in strength. The Ottomans demand an alliance for Hispaniola, and they're going to give me two, two quite good techs. If I give them Hispaniola... And 11 grand. That's not a bad deal. I mean, we've already got... Oh, it's because they have military access, that's why. Okay, let's continue this, because we've got quite a good, big, broad alliance between... I mean, I'm not allied with you, but we're both allied with people that make sense to ally. I don't normally like giving regions away. Let's see if I can... If without it. Yeah, that's... They'll try on again. They always do. So as the Ottomans... Hmm. 
Yeah, as the Ottomans continue to move people and troops around, we must be careful that they don't start to cause problems later on. I just didn't want to give them... I should have knocked off the money, really. It wasn't a... You can't just knock off territory and expect them to give you all the same stuff. No, no, Barbary States, don't you do it. Good. Sail away. If they attack me, I'll just strike eastward from Morocco. New town of... Okay, now all the growth starting to pop. So let's upgrade you. Let's upgrade Kaikonga. This is when you start to run away with things because your economy just starts to really... Like, everything's just starting to pop. Three new towns in one turn. That's pretty big. And two new ports. Holy crap. So let's record another sloop. Don't upgrade you to a global trading company because that will really suck the money out of you. Don't even have top tier roads in a lot of places. So I'm looking for the lower... I'm looking for um, lower tier things I've built in certain regions. I mean, upgrading things to max tier is pretty nice as well, because it means it, that it's done. Oh, steam pump mines in all of Bogota and Mexico as well. They've been built in Mexico. Upgrade the farm, the government chambers, get better roads, upgrade plantations. Does New Andalusia have new roads? Nope, it does now. So you men continue to replenish. Port's being built. So build a sloop to get ready to occupy the port while we're away. Public servant dies. Gabriel Simpson. That's potentially a shame. Not really. Most of our priests, are, most of our guys are pretty awesome. Barnabas Newcomer would be nice, but it's a bit of a chance. The question is, do I boot out Thaddeus Wayne? Justin Hutchinson. Four stars. Still still pretty good, depending on what his little sub behaviours are like. Can you guys leave Lisbon? You ask too much. Make ready. Sorry, sir. I cannot do that. What? Sorry, sir. Can't do that, General. Oh, how odd. You ask too much. Okay, so this is a bit bugged. So I'm not holding anything, I'm not. Can't do it. Hmm, that's very odd. One more turn till we get classical economics, then the economics tree is completely done. Prussia. Ooh. So, part of me wants to defend the thirteen colonies, but the other half of me does not want to be out, does not want to lose my alliance of Sweden, Prussia, and the Ottoman Empire. So I'm going to have to decline. The alliance between the thirteen colonies and Great Britain is broken, which means that soon we will execute Order sixty six. So that might be where. These armies that could have been freed up doing other things would instead probably get ready to fight the 13 colonies. But I'm going to... Okay, oh right, it must have been that, like, uh, that um, t uh, box that stopped me from moving stuff. Okay, let's hit and turn one more time. You're on your way to Moscow, that's definitely going to be a definite battle there. It'd be interesting to see if anyone makes any moves on the uh, 13 colonies because they've, I've, they've now lost my alliance. 
but we will definitely order 66 of them because you know all that territory Ooh. well just because all that territory on the east coast is could be mine they're bringing their troops back to i don't know okay just swap some ships around i suppose Lots of Ottoman fleets are sailing around. I don't know why they're raiding the trade to the Barbary States, because they're friendly. Part of you wonders if the, if Prussia decided to do that to see if they would break my they would break my like, lose my alliance. So that they want to declare war on me. Because I think they do. They do want to declare war on me. And they've, they've attempted to try and do it through diplomatic means to make them seem like the good guys by me, you know, refusing to back them up. But I have backed them up. Classical economics, that's a great technology to have. Don't waste your time on short on carbines. Go on to the industry tech. Go for machine tools. Two more new towns. Oh my god. So you're going to really start to grow. Louisiana. Cherokee territory as well. I mean, you can really see my treasury is starting to really, really boom. But this is it. We're at the point now where we can just... Keep on building. Keep on expanding. Keep on growing. So much good stuff. 109 growing up there. Some great techs being built. But what I want to do is take this army, replenish them a bit more, march them out of Lisbon. They don't like that too much. They, they're technically fine with it. They wouldn't rebel. But can you march on to Madrid? Ooh, that's a bit dodgy i'd rather have you fight I'd rather have you fight these armies outside of the battle first but what we do know is going to happen is these guys go over to vilnius you guys get into minsk build the farm so you guys aren't entirely replenished yet but it's only one unit run to this side of moscow ah oh, nuts Okay, well, I'm definitely going to end on that happening. I'm not going to not. That's when the battle. That's when the episode ends. We're going to end on. Uh... We're going to end on that battle being kicked off. Let's move you over. Get you. Come on, get a bit closer to shore. Uh -oh. Okay, that fleet might get destroyed by some wayward crew. I mean, if they don't... I mean, I'd like to fight them outside Madrid and probably... Well, can you... Can you get to here? Ah, nuts! <laughs> I, I was hoped I just did it. I did it just enough. But it looks like we are going to engage the uh engage the spanish so we might actually lose this because we've got well no we've got lots of yeah use our artillery well let's do this this is gonna suck <laughs> but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time for this unplanned um effort against the spanish i was hoping i could get it just just outside of their zone of control Oh, no well. Best laid plans. Let's take him out. Cheers, everyone.